Saturday, June 9th, 3 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, I want to share with you something I observed in the latest upload by the USGS. They fly and do aerial views of this uh, ongoing lava flow and volcanic eruption of Kilauea on the Big Island. And the area that I want to talk about in this video is right off the, the coast where the current lava flow is entering the ocean. And I noticed something that looked unusual, and it didn't look like to me it would be instigated by a lava flow, because you don't see it anywhere else with respect to the other lava flows entering the water, except in this one area right here. Right now I'm using Google Maps, and you can kind of get a pretty good perspective of the underwater terrain. And you can see historically from other volcanic eruptions, more than likely from thousands of years ago, there's a a cone there that's probably about the same size as fissure 8 right now there's a couple more here you see signs of these things all over the place some bigger ones throughout this uh, area just off the coast of the big island there's some out here they're not active but what i saw reminded me of or at least it looked like an active plume i saw in a video that was dated june 8th just uh, from yesterday and it's from this area here, and I want to show you something on Google Earth before we go to the video. I wanted to show this um, with Google Maps because the uh, clarity is actually exceptional. It's a little better than Google Earth, even though they're the same. Uh, they probably use the same platform, but you can see what I'm talking about. These underwater domes, and the only thing that causes any interference here is the water overlay. But they're there. But another thing, and you should be able to see if you watch down here in the lower right-hand corner, watch... Uh, the elevation drops off very quickly. Right now, the current lava flow is here. It extends for about a mile, a little over a mile. Right around in this area here. Just right at a mile. Just past vacation land and just on the other side of uh, this bay right here. But pay attention to the water depth. As I come off the coast right here, there it drops 124 feet, 271 almost 500 feet right there, 500 feet deep. So it uh, gets very deep very, very quickly. What I'm going to show you in this video from the USGS flyover of the uh, area from yesterday morning, you're going to see an area of the water that looks like it's boiling. And if it was from the lava flow, if you look at this map right here, this is where the current active lava flows are. This boiling effect, I think, would be present along the whole shore. That's the only reason I'm talking about it, is because it's not present along the whole shore. It's visible out here. And what I see out here are remnants of old domes and possibly old vents from eruptions long ago. And the only reason I'm talking about it is, what if what we're seeing in this video is an old vent or an old dome that is reactivated? That's the only reason I'm talking about it. I'll post the link to the video, which is in uh, their Facebook page, which is right here. Actually, it's here. And I'll uh, post the link in the description box below. But here's the video, and I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. You can't miss it. In fact, they even zoom in on it with the camera as they're flying over in the helicopter. Here's a little video I made of the video showing the area where the water does look like it's boiling, not only in one place, but two. Okay, this is the part of the ocean. This is Google Earth. And you can see remnants of old domes all littered out through here underneath the water. This is what we're seeing as of yesterday. See these two areas? Now watch as the helicopter flies over. Those two areas are probably, at minimum, several hundred yards offshore. And out in that area, the water gets extremely deep. It's way out in here. Watch, you'll see. The helicopter's flying around right now, coming in from this direction here. Now it's coming around the bend. That's actually new coastline you're seeing right there. But I think we would see this boiling effect all along the coast. And you don't. Not like we see up here in just a minute. Watch. So now it's slowly going down the coastline where this lava is entering the ocean. 
watch what we see. We don't see any boiling effects through here. It's quite obvious. You'll see what I mean. As we're entering this area here, watch. Here comes a boat that goes right between the two. See that boat? More than likely, let me stop it. Look at that big area right there. That looks like some sort of a uh, underwater plume. And there's one here also. And this boat, I don't know if that's a, a boat that's given a tour. I don't think so. I'm pretty certain this area is off limits. But it goes right between these two areas of water that look like they're being stirred by an underwater plume. If it were lava, I think it would be doing this next to the shore. Not several hundred yards, maybe even a quarter mile offshore. Especially that big. That one there is huge. And this one's big itself, but it's much smaller by comparison to this one here. So let me continue playing. Look at that. That looks like, to me, that's an old dome or a vent that's releasing gas or some sort of a, um, I don't know, some sort of a lava maybe? I don't know. Something underwater is stirring that water right there. And that water, keep in mind, is very deep. So if it was lava, it would have to travel this entire distance and then keep in mind it's going downward and then go back up why isn't it doing it over here or over here just right here and I showed you earlier on Google Maps and you could see it on Google Earth too but it was clearer on Google Maps because it didn't have the water feature there are several ancient old vents and domes underwater here and I'm just wondering since these volcanic eruptions once they get going like this one is they can be so unpredictable. Could something under uh, the ocean there have reignited something that's very, very old? I don't know. Here, here's what I did with this video. I took and put it in slow motion. There's the boat going through these two areas that look like they're being created by an underwater plume. And keep in mind the grade of the ocean floor. It goes very, very steeply downward so this area is extremely deep so I don't know I'm just pointing out an observation guys uh, it's just something to keep an eye on that's all because the island um, has been very very active for over a month now and now if we're seeing something offshore that just you know compounds the situation but to me that looks like that's coming from some sort of an underwater plume that is very large in fact, that's huge. Look at how it dwarfs the boat. And then there's a smaller one here. So again, it's just an observation. I have no idea what this is. Right now, it's being blamed on the lava flow, which it makes sense. You got hot lava entering the ocean like that? More than likely, yeah. You know, if this were really shallow water, I would absolutely agree with that 100%. But since this water is so deep, I don't understand the the isolated area here just this area here and here why not the whole coastline but that water is definitely boiling out there and to me it looks like it's coming from an old vent so anyway guys that's just an observation I made this video is from yesterday June 8th it was uploaded today June 9th some sort of a water disturbance off of the coast of the Big Island, the southeast coast. All right, guys, that's all I've got for now. We'll be back later with some more updates. Uh, I've got some weather updates to share with you guys later. This, real quick, is a photograph of a large crack at the summit of Kilauea. This was taken uh, just back on June 5th. They went up there to kind of check out the area. Didn't stay long, long enough to take a few pictures, and then they uh, went back down the mountain. This was up around 4,000 feet near the summit actually at the summit you can see a very large crack has formed up there and they say that it doesn't look anything at all like the place it used to a month and a half ago all right guys that's all i got for now thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there